somebody mug my snowman? Who the hell? That was Gog. Christmas Eve. Darn, I forgot to carve my jack-o'-lantern. You're late. I, and you, you look terrible. I was attacked by a pack of wild rabid reindeer. I'm lucky to be alive. These holidays are dangerous. Uh, okay, are you nervous because you're in a little slump now? But you gotta put aside this thing you have with Christmas. Could you speak up a bit? I don't want the boys in the loading dock to miss any of this. All right, so some bad stuff happened a few Christmases ago. Four, but who's counting? I know it's rough for you, but since the entire line of next year's cards is approved at Christmas, it's a pretty lousy time for it. Hey, Hang on one sec. Couldn't you have picked something like, say, Arbor Day to have a thing with? Arbor Day has never gotten the respect that it deserves. Alan, I still believe in you. You're my star guy. The guys in there are the biggest buyers in the country. Then maybe I shouldn't do it. You know, I think I sprained my spleen. Your spleen is on the other side. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Can we do this? And as we all know, everyone buys greeting cards for planned expected events, birthdays, anniversaries, and so on. That market is saturated. What we're trying to do here is to create a new line, one for unexpected events. I call it on the brighter side. <laughs> Congratulations to the proud graduate. A degree means more when it's earned in prison. Congratulations on a mostly successful vasectomy. And congratulations on the birth of the triplets. Happy Valentine's Day. I would have handed you this personally, but I didn't want to violate the restraining order. That's happened to you, hasn't it, madman? Whoops, hang on. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is your proposed line of new cards. Yeah. I have never been so insulted in my life. Oh, come on, you have too. Alan. I mean, uh, hey, you don't love those? I got more of them. <laughs> You're gonna love this one. Okay, the face of the card is, is Vincent Van Gogh's self-portrait. Only, can I borrow these for a second? There's a pair of glasses hanging off of his face like this, and the cartoon bubble coming out of his mouth reads at least when you lost your ear they'd already invented contact lenses yeah because it's van gogh he cut it off the framey thing can't hang that was your best card you wanted edgy that's edgy i'll give you edgy you want edgy all right how about this congratulations you screwed the company dummy on the brighter side there is no brighter side hey you know they just want to count no 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 you don't understand there are only account were i should say what about hallie smith what about happy notes? What about budget greetings? Alan, they're small potatoes, and you know it. This is our last gasp. Without these guys, we're... I'm fired, aren't I? It's not a matter of firing you, Alan. If I can't somehow salvage this account, we're all fired. All right? Come on, let's go. All right, look. The airport's snowed in. Richie already can't leave town. I'm gonna schmooze him. I'm gonna take him to that Christmas concert tomorrow night. Anything I can to save this. Meantime, it might not hurt for you to put your resume together. Look at this. Zeb Rosecock. He was just like you once. I find that hard to believe. Oh, it's true. Best writer in the business in his prime. And he lost it, just like you have. What's that supposed to mean? You've lost your joy, Alan. Your cards used to be so good, no one could put them back on the shelves after they read them. It was like you were packaging hugs and laughs and tears. And now you're too scared to let yourself be happy. Ever since that stupid reindeer incident. Caribou, whatever. It's four years now, it's getting worse. Every year, you go deeper and deeper into denial. I do not. I'm kidding, it's a joke. And every year, you deflect any attempt anyone makes to try to help you out. Hey, look, mistletoe, and you are standing right under it, you big cutie. So cheer up, huh? You'll get that account, and I will see you on Monday. Hey, Ro 
was cock. Nice hat and scarf. Guess you got it at that yard sale I didn't know I was having. You're calling me a thief, sir? Well, I put that hat and scarf on my snowman yesterday. They were gone this morning, and now you're wearing them. So, uh, uh, carry the one, lose the remainder. I'm um, divided by that look on your face. Um, yeah, I'd say that adds up to thief. I am not a thief. I found these on a pile of snow. That was a snowman. It looked like a pile of snow to me. A pile of snow? What are you, stupid? How do you screw up a snowman? It's three balls, a broom, and a chunk of coal. It was a great snowman. My girlfriend made it, and she put that hat and scarf on it, so get it off your liver-spotted neck! <laughs> what kind of jerk are you? Trying to freeze this harmless old man to death. Merry Christmas. I think <laughs> this is your stop. Yeah, you got a license to drive that thing? I said sorry, old grouch. My neck. Oh, whiplash. Oh, my leg's gone numb. Ambulance. Somebody call an ambulance. Oh. Ambulance! Oh, screw the ambulance! Somebody call my attorney! Hey, that kid oh. did it! Well, well, I... Tim, what do you think you're doing? How dare you knock Santa down? But I didn't. It wasn't me. Ask him. He saw the whole thing. I didn't see anything. No. I'm just an old grouch. But you were... Bah, humbug. That was a terrible thing to do, Timmy. To pull a trick like that and then lie about it. Wait until your father hears about this. I did. It wasn't... Hi, honey. Oh, it's you. Oh, we got out late. I've got a million packages, and darling Ken offers me a lift. Oh, Alan, you've met Ken Steiner before. He's conducting the symphony tomorrow. Wow. Nice wheels. Uh, they must pay you a lot to wave your little stick. <laughs> it's called a baton, actually. I guess it's not as artistic as writing happy birthday, Grandma. Well, well. Good job. I got it. Thanks, Ken. Shall I pick you up tomorrow? No, I'm taking her. On the bus? No, my car. It just it got snowed in. I got to shovel it out. Snowplow came, buried the thing. And, you you know, played like, beautifully. Why do that? Solo's yeah. going to be delish. Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> Your solo's going to be delish. <laughs> Come on. Do me a favor, don't take rides from charming, rich, good-looking guys, you okay? You big nut. You have nothing in the world to worry about. You rock. No, you rock. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow, your lips are so... Tasty? No, blue. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how was rehearsal? Oh, it was really fun. The show is gonna be great. How was your presentation? Oh, you know, smooth as silk, uh, assuming that the silk was actually sandpaper. Oh, what? Those cards were funny. It couldn't have been that bad. Yes, it could. It uh, started at bad, and then it segued into, you know, disaster. Oh, I'm so sorry. Those people are idiots with no sense of humor. Let's just forget about it. We'll have a nice Christmas, okay? Okay. Excuse me. It's not a cheap hotel. It's a coffee shop. The only thing we're steaming is the latte. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Alan. Yeah. I'll be up. You ask him yet? Oh, come on, Annie, I just sat down. I know. I'm just excited. And prepared. Spy cam between the nutmeg and the cinnamon. I'm gonna record the happy event. You are the best. No, you are. Trying this on Christmas Eve. I know how weird it out he gets. Oh, I am about to change all of that. Look at this. Oh, nice. Oh, it sure is unconventional, but I gotta tell you, if any woman had done this for me, I mean any man. What the hell? Anybody. <laughs> it had melted my heart. Yeah. So, 
Alan. I know how the 24th has always been bad for you ever since the caribou thing. Not just bad, like cursed. I, I know, it's cursed. And anyway. You know, and the caribou thing, that was just the start. It's ever since it's been a giant, you know, bad luck snowball chasing me down Alan, the mountain. Shut up, okay? Because I have something that I think might change all of that. Son of a What? Rose Cog. He's tormenting me. Hey, damn you, Rose Cog! Whoa, hey, you're not Rose Cog. I yeah. Like your thing with the hat and nice date by Alan, come here. Shoot. going out for a long time. Today, he stole the hat and scarf off your snowman. Then, he almost got me lynched on the bus. Alan. I'm sorry. Go ahead, honey. Where were you? Let's just go home. I'm, I'm kind of tired. Door knocker. Oh, weird. Wow, that's a great door knocker. Same one that's always been there. I'm freezing. Can we? Oh. Honey. Oh, yeah. Mr. Claus, it's time for your present. Whoa. Take me out to the balcony. Read the tag. To Alan, one pair of ankles. Do not open till Christmas. It's pretty darn near Christmas. Tomorrow. I need to get some sleep. But... I've had enough, Alan. Look, I love you more than anything, but I can't spend another Christmas like this. And look around. I decorated the tree. I hung the lights. But I swept up the needles after you brought in the tree. I need my sleep. I got a solo tomorrow, and looks like you're gonna have one tonight. Oh, come on, Carrie. No, wait. I'm sorry. Please stay. I, I, I'm not thinking about that jerk rose cog. No, I'm not thinking about him at all. You know, I'm thinking about, you know, chestnuts or roasting and uh, <laughs> eggnog. You know, and then hey, I haven't opened your ankle present yet, so. That's on the way away. Whoa, mad and still funny. That's why I love you. <laughs> I'm not giving you a map to my heart, Alan. You'll have to find your own way. Map? What map? Ah, uh, okay. 
Okay. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, you know, seat 17, front row. You rock! I know. I rock, too, but, you know, you're just mad. So I'll say it. I rock. <laughs> ah! 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 Cold, 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 cold. Ah. So the weather looks like more of the same, cold and snowy. Thanks, Phil. In other news, an incident at Santa's Village has left one resident in pain. Apparently, a young boy got into a snowball fight with Santa. Hey, I bleed internally. I'm just doing this whole damn village for everything that's worth. Hey, watch it! That's my spine you're paying in there, pal! I got health insurance. Ghost of Jacob Marley, man. Get out of here before I call the cops. I was sent by the tortured souls of those who went before you who don't want you to repeat their mistakes. Oh, you're one of those uh, religious freaks? Okay, well, you could have knocked, all right? Leave your pamphlet and beat it. You don't believe that I am a ghost? Oh, no, you know, I'm not saying you're not a ghost. <laughs> yeah, ma. You are a ghost. Exactly. I am, in fact, the ghost of Jacob Marley, man. With all due respect, wasn't Jacob Marley, you know, British and white? Yeah, man. But when we were a colony, you know, his grandson went on one crazy Jamaican vacation. And history, including music history, was made. Get out. So Bob Marley's related to Jacob. Hey, we all had one love. <sighs> Wait. My life sucks right now, and you're here to help me? That's right, man. Oh, this is exactly what I needed. This is great! You're gonna show me where I went wrong! Yeah, that's the spear of my brethren. We're here to save your soul, Zeb Rosecog. Oh, uh, no, I'm Alan. Zeb Rosecog's my neighbor. What's that? Come on, this is 785 Evergreen, right? Yeah. Then you, my friend, are Zebediah Rosecog, like it or not. Wait a minute, let me see that. Oh, okay, first of all, that's a six, not a five. You want 786 across the street. No, man, that's a five. I always make my fives kind of like sixes ever since I was a youth. No, the only problem is see... Look, make no mistake, man. I do 500 of these a night. That door knocker's gonna get a ream for not telling you about me. But true, the other ghosts are coming at 1, 2, and 3 a.m. Nah, here's a copy of the work order, man. Sign at the X's there and there, and initial there, 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 and there. But, but don't you worry, my friend, about a thing, because it all just may be all right. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, oh, hold on a minute. Uh, oh, let me check. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 snack break, sneeze guards. Oh, here we are. Uh, snooze buttons. Uh, no use of snooze buttons is strictly forbidden. Who are you? Oh, oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait. Wasn't there another guy here earlier? Kind of a scary island dude. He was supposed to tell you I was coming. Shoot. I knew things would get screwed slow down, up. Slow down, slow down. It's okay. I knew you were coming. I just want to know your name. Oh, uh, Jody McDougal, or I, I used to be when I was alive. I I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. It's just this is my first haunt. I'm not even getting paid yet. I'm still an intern. You're an intern? Uh, they sent me an intern. I mean, I, I took all the right classes. I just need to clock some time in the field. So you're the ghost of Christmas past? No, no, no. Christmas present. Uh, past asked if I could switch with him. You know, he was running late. <laughs> What's so funny? It just dawned on me. Christmas present? Like Christmas presents? Oh, I wish I was that ghost. How cool would that be? Boo. 
And here's a basket of crackers and assorted cheeses. Enjoy. <gasps> you get it? The ghost of Christmas presents! <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. Listen, you're making a huge mistake, okay? I told the other guy, uh, you got the wrong address. Oh, they told me this might happen. Yeah, they told you you might get the wrong address? No, no, that the subject might lie to get out of the Christmas voyage. But... Hey! Whoa! How'd you do that? Look, I didn't pay a hundred bucks of credit to share the syllabus with everyone. <laughs> hey, what, what is that? You know what a universal remote is? Sure. Well, this is a universe remote. Same idea, but it works on light. Oh. Where are we? Oh, wait, this is the block over from where I live. Mm -hmm, that's right. This is or was the home of Ellen and Bob Williams. You know, the people you're threatening to evict? Not a very nice thing to do on Christmas, Zeb. Fine. I'm Zeb and I'm a big fat jerk. Why am I evicting them? Shh. Watch. <sighs> hey, that woman looks familiar. Where do I know her from? Of course she looks familiar. You're evicting her. But I mentioned you're also suing her on Christmas. Then make it a Santa suit. Yeah, wacky. Like Christmas presents. Ooh. Hey, Zeb! That's Zeb! There's Zeb! Zeb, tell this lunatic who you are. It's no use. He can't see or hear you. And by the way, I think the word lunatic is extremely hurtful. Both for me and for, you know, lunatics. If he's Rose Cog, then I can't be Rose Cog. Explain that. I don't have to. And that's not Rose Cog. Hello, Mr. Rose Cog. Please, come in. I will, thank you. All right, if he's Rose Cog and he's here at this house, then how can I be Rose Cog if I'm here with you since you're the ghost of Christmas present? <clears throat> According to the Christmas Haunting Spirit Book, mm -hmm. the present shall be defined as any time falling within or corresponding directly to a 48-hour period of the current most recent Christmas to date. Mm -hmm. Yada, yada, a yada. Problem solved, question answered? <laughs> okay, fine. He doesn't even look like me. Explain that. One word. Exfoliation. That's it, I'm out of here. Zap. Zap. That's a good joke. You're not the only funny person. Be reasonable. It was early morning. I didn't have time to shovel the snow off the walk. Nonetheless, I slipped and fell on your sidewalk, and you're going to have to pay for it. Now, here is the doctor's bill for multiple treatments on my back. Here is the tally of fees for my lost time. And here is the total for my pain and suffering. What, what, what is... What, we can't afford this. We'll, we'll, we'll lose the house. Oh, that. Well, I'm going to want you out by New Year's. This guy is unbelievable. How could you possibly think I'm him? Tim... Back up to your room, please. You've been grounded. You should know better. But I told you. I didn't do it. You already lost a Christmas present. Now, upstairs. Kid with the snowball. He's getting punished for something he didn't do. Why didn't you say anything at the park? Because I just got fired, and then he knocked me down, so I took it out on him and let it be his problem. What? Oh, nothing. It's just that as soon as you saw it, it was your problem. Oh, and there's going to be another bill for the snowball he threw through my window this morning. Oh, that was me. Oh, no. Where'd you go? I'm so sorry, kid. They took back a Barry Bonds rookie card? He can't hear you. I know, I'm just talking. Waste of time. And now you missed your lesson on the evil stuff you did downstairs? But don't worry, there's plenty more. Let's go. No, wait. Ah! I hate when you do that. You gotta give me a warning or something. Okay, uh-huh, yeah. Oh, <sighs> man. Why'd you bring me here? It was bad enough once today. I'm bringing you here, Zeb, to show you how much you torture this poor soul. Ah! Poor soul? That's me. Can I at least have my bag? And here's me. Doesn't that tell you something? Huh? Huh? Oh, my God! I, just, yeah, I know. <laughs> Do you know what this means? <laughs> this means you look exactly like your neighbor. Christmas. Worse and worse every year. You know what the chances of this happening are? <laughs> yeah, none. Then the 
control must be broken. It's protecting two of you. Does that make sense to you? That's more logical than I made a mistake and I got the wrong guy. It's obvious, Zeb, that you envy this man and you're taking any chance you get to treat him just as horribly. Is Zeb's jealous of me? Why? Well, you're, you're angry at Alan because he still believes in the cards he writes. I believe in the cards? No, I don't. I used to. I haven't believed in them. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's something wrong with this. No, 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 no! Don't ah! I don't know. You scared me, okay? So I pressed something. No, duh. But, but, you, you, which button? We're in the past. Year 2001? I am so screwed. 2001. I know this place. There's me. And there's Bradley. So, wait a minute. This isn't Rose Cog's past. This is my Christmas past. There's Carrie. There's Steiner, that jerk. Disgusting, but really funny. <laughs> Press play. Not in your life. Come on, please. You are my favorite ghost. Really? Ever. Well, I guess it can't get any worse. Wait. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Making her solo debut with our orchestra, the lovely Carrie Ford. Seems like you know, nobody's listening until you make a mistake. I'm Carrie. Hi, Carrie. And you are? Oh, um, front row, seat 17. <sighs> nice to meet you, front row, seat 17. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm in the middle of a concert here. Could you kindly go back to row 17? Seat 17. that comes later when things get serious and you don't do anything about it. I hate you. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> That's odd. I remember all my Christmas Eve was terrible, but meeting Carrie was a great one. Might have been your best one ever. Definitely. Wow. Nice party. Mm -hmm. Whose is it? I figured you'd say that, claiming you don't even recognize your own daughter. Sad. Very sad. Okay, all right. That's my daughter? Mm-hmm. She's older than me. What, did I have her when I was negative 12? Her name's Patricia Rose Cog Montgomery, your only child, and this is her house. Not like you've ever been here before. And you see that little girl? Uh, yeah, let me guess. I'm 32, and that's my seven-year-old granddaughter. Her name's Alicia Rose Montgomery, named after your wife. Here, listen. They're talking about you. Well, I wouldn't exactly say my father's the nastiest man alive, but... Okay, I changed my mind. He is the nastiest man alive. <laughs> Patricia, that is wicked. Oh, come on. Any man who's never made the time to see his own granddaughter isn't exactly Santa Claus. <laughs> We've never visited him either, Mom, have we? Thank 
Thanks a lot, little Miss Bringdown. Another dysfunctional family for your statistics. Oh, look who's talking. It's your fault they're like that. Look, Zeb, it's my job to show you these things. If you're going to be a self-absorbed butthead who chooses not to do anything about it. Ah, I can't believe you people. You people? What is this, a race thing now? What? You're not even... No, I mean you ghosts. Oh, I see how it is. Well then, Mr. Smarty Pajamas, let's see you get home without us ghosts. Jody, Jody, Jody! <laughs> yeah, I see you there. You're late, you know, I'm just saying. Well, I'm sorry, I just... Hang walked. on, hang on, do you know what time it is? 2.30. 2.30. Thirty. When are you done? Clocking in. Oh. You know, kid, the internet has killed the joy of ghosting. Today it's all time in, time out, hours build. They love that. And they always know where you are with that satellite thing. I'm old school. You wave the tiny wand, the tinkly music plays. Glitter. Hey. Barry Friedman, ghost of Christmas past. Barry Friedman? Go on, say it. What the hell's a Jew doing as the ghost of Christmas anything, huh? Believe me, it came as something of a shock to me, too. I was a comic in the Catskills. I'm on stage one night trying a lot of new stuff. Bombing. Suddenly a bottle comes flying out of the audience. Bang! I drop like a puppet. Instant ghost of Christmas past. I put in for the ghost of Hanukkah past. Didn't get it. I gave it to Youngman. Hmm? But I'll tell you something, that's no picnic either, you know. Then you gotta haunt the guy for eight nights, and who needs that kind of aggravation? Right. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not Zeb Rosecog. Thank you for noticing. Oh, my God. Oh, what are you trying to pull here, kid? Is this a scam? Is he paying you to take his place? Because a guy got away with that during the French Revolution, but things were so crazy that... I'm not trying to pull anything. I tried to tell the last two ghosts, okay? You tell the Rasta guy? Yeah, I told him. Oh, you know something? That guy Marley is so weird anyway. And don't get me started about the cloud of strange smoke billowing out of his cubicle all day long. It's not right. Right. Surprised he only missed it by one house. Yeah, I <laughs> know. And Jody. Whoa! Oh, come on. Whose brilliant idea was it to let her out in public? Okay, then. Huh? We're in agreement that I am not Zebro's cog, and, uh... Oh, I'm bushed. I'm gonna hit the hay. You can let yourself out the door or the wall or the ceiling whenever you want. Bye! <sighs> So, this Rose Cog fella, not a nice guy, huh? Nice? No. He's the opposite of nice. He's not nice. And you're a writer. Night. Say, I don't suppose you could see your way clear to being Zeb tonight and coming with me anyway? Mm, no, don't think so. Believe me, I understand. It's just that someone's got to take the blame, and I'm the leader, so I'll probably lose my job and all that seniority. And, of course, I'll have to go back to, you know... Hell? Yeah, and there's a reason they call it that. You heard about the heat. The least of it. It's the little things that get you, too. For instance, no sitting. No sitting? Doesn't sound like much, does it? But after a couple of years... And everyone has a bad back. Yeah, if you're not sitting. No. They give you one as soon as you get there. The second you walk off the elevator, boom. Oh! Kind of goes down the leg, too. Well... Then there's the sex. There's sex in hell? Constantly, but only with people you don't want. That's the hell of it. <laughs> so for me, it's... Remember the Turkish prison guard from Midnight Express? Sure. A lot of that. In fact, it's him. Anywho. Merry Christmas, kid. Wait. Wait. Barry! Barry! Yeah? I'll go with you. Adam, boy, I knew I could count on you. We're going to have the best time. You'll see. We'll get a cup of coffee. Do you take coffee, Alan? <laughs> Let me guess. Uh, Rose Cog inherited a thriving greeting card company from his rich dad. Excuse me. Are you the new ghost of Christmas past? Maybe I've been replaced. Sorry. In 1958, Seb Rose Cog took a job as mail clerk at Outpost Greeting Cards. He worked his way to the top of the company. And then... Is that Bradley? He's got the same Christmas vest on. Yeah, that's terrific. Why is everyone so down? They think the company's going under. Never went under. And Zeb's the reason why. 
Let's get inside. It's a little cold. Wait. Can we walk through the wall? Oh, tourists. Please. Fine. Let's go. Go on. Go on. Knock yourself out. Go ahead. Always makes me giggly. That's fun. I have good news. The company will not be shutting its doors after all. And I'm happy to hand over the reins to someone who I feel will be able to give our faltering company the shot in the arm that it needs. Zeb Rosecog. Rosecog was just after the money. Oh, he couldn't be more wrong. The man was a visionary. He turned the entire company around into a huge money-making operation just a year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been called everything from crazy to just plain stupid for taking on this endeavor. I've been called that by everyone except my beautiful wife, Felicia, without whom I never would have been able to be here this evening. Wow, she's beautiful. If you like them, then. You don't? Then take anyone. You know, some people think that... Uh, Greeting cards are nothing more than trifles. I heartily disagree. We are the expressors for those who cannot express. We are packaging hugs and laughs and tears for the masses. Wait, this is amazing. Seb believed in the cards. Just like I did. Just like you did. Wait, what, what? You could say I'm doing you a favor by going through Zeb's life, right? What do you want, huh? Well, a favor. For me. So go ahead. Well, you seem like a great guy, and no one can see us. Ooh, you know, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know anything goes with the kids today, but not with me, my friend. I don't do that well at night before no. the battle, sure, but we, we were so young, so scared. We reached out for each other. Barrett, huh? I just wanted to go back to one of my own Christmas pasts. Oh. Well, I suppose we could do that. We're a little ahead of time anyway. I was kidding about the battle, by the way. What year? 2000. 2000 it is. Yeah. No, we. 1999. Damn it. No, get us out of here. This is the wrong one, Barry. Take it easy. Hockey's the greatest game in the world. I played semi-pro, you know. Really? No. Me? Seriously, can we just get out of here before... Oh. Before what? Great. Pretty girl. Who is it? Someone you know? Lisa. She was my girlfriend. Girlfriend? Nice. And where are you? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Kenny... That's you in the elf costume? It was a caribou. I don't know. Whatever. It was a caribou. And it was just for this night. And I don't know. I wanted it to be a surprise. He scores! Oh, I saw. Well, that's not too bad. I've seen far more humiliating. Oh, it gets worse? Our nursing staff is examining Kenny. It looks like... Yes, he's okay. Let's hear it for Kenny the Caribou. Oh, boy. Looks like Kenny's got himself a date. Boy, is she cute. Let's hear it for Lisa. She can't hear you, but I can. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Lisa, I've known I love you for a long time now. Oh, God. I can't imagine a life without you. Will you marry me? do this, but I think we should break up. This just, just, just isn't working. And there's someone else. Who? 
kid breaking up with me for Daryl the donkey? I'm afraid so. Ouch. Which, which half of the donkey? To our main story, Angels of Mercy Hospital, 1962. <laughs> Sorry. It's in this very car. <laughs> Are you still laughing? Come on, honey, come on. And the guy, <laughs> and the guy comes out of the tub. Wow, out of the tub. <laughs> come on. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, that's the last time you'll hear it. Maybe. All right, Angels of Mercy Hospital, 1962, in this very room. Hello, precious little one. Hi there, sweetie. I've got you. But I always will. That's Patricia. I'll be home for Christmas. You can count on me. Christmas Eve will find me where the love light gleams. What? For Christmas, <laughs> if only in my dreams. Got into me there. New feeling for you, eh? Yeah. Wow. Whoa, this is Christmas spirit here, huh? <laughs> Where are we here? Casa de Rosecog, 1967. Get out of here, Rosecog? No, I don't believe that. Yeah. Choo -choo! All aboard for the Patricia Express! Daddy, Daddy, stop here. Look, there's one more present. There is? Well, then we're just going to have to open it next year. Hello, <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? The express <gasps> is landing, and here is the present. Uh -huh. This one is so well wrapped. I think Mrs. Claus must have wrapped this one. I think so. What could it be? <gasps> Daddy, it's just what I wanted. I love it. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I love you, sweetie. I've got something for you, too. Oh, yes? this out? I picked it out, and Mommy paid for it, but I wrapped it. <laughs> oh. It's to put your cards in, the ones that you're working on. Look inside. Oh. This is fantastic. Isn't it pretty, Daddy? I think it is the second most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. What do you think the first is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the old bastard had it in him. What, tear ducts? Oh, ha, ha. 
You'd be surprised what people have in them if you just give them a chance. Yeah, I've seen him like this, like he just, you know, walked out of a Norman Rockwell painting. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. Well, see if you believe this. I remember waiting up for Santa Claus. She's not waiting for Santa. What? What's he doing there so late? It started out as a noble thing. It always does. He wanted to make sure he had enough money for the family, but then it was never enough. It wasn't just Christmases, either. He was missing birthdays, anniversaries, daddy-daughter dances. Wow. Careful, Alan. Sounds like you're feeling sorry for the old man. I thought you hated him. Well, I did. I, I do. It's just... I see it in a little bit at a time like this. It makes you kind of... Understand him a little better? Yeah, that and... 16 years later, 1988, Christmas Eve, his wife, Alicia, had a heart attack. Dad, where have you been? Oh, I, I had to go into the office. I... There was... Uh, yeah, work emergency, I can imagine. I, I just... You're too late, Dad. You're too late? Mom's gone, Dad. But, 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 what, she was just here. Yeah. You know, she wanted to know where you were, but... I didn't know what to tell her. She died thinking that you deserted her, Dad. supposed to be here. But I am here. Now. You're here now. But she isn't. Do you have any idea, Dad, just how much she loved you? How could you do that to her? I don't think I can bear to see you. This is horrible. Why are you showing me this? This is the moment Zeb lost the two most important people in his life. That's impossible! Do you hear me, sweetheart? Zeb stuck with the company for five more years, but every card he wrote, every card that passed through the printing press reminded him of his beloved Alicia. He just couldn't take it. What do you think this is all about? Save time, he's gonna yell at us all at once. <laughs> I know you all want to get home for the holiday weekend, so I'll make this as brief as possible. You see, what we put out at this company, ladies and gentlemen, are trifles. Bland attempts to capture human emotions on paper. For 30 years, we've been packaging hugs and, uh, and laughter and tears, but they all just end up in a box at the back of a closet. And the people we package these emotions for end up in a box as well. Anyway, I'm uh, selling the company. What are we doing?
doing here now, huh? You gonna show me the rest of Rose Cog's family dying of the Ebola virus? Or worse yet, a tape of your act? Well, I guess that'd hurt me if it wasn't said by a caribou who lost his girlfriend to the donkey's ass. You know what? This is all beneath me. I came back to log out, and that's all, and give the remote to Christmas Future, who, by the way, is gonna be here any second, and if he doesn't have the right tools... Seven Iron Rose Cog. Nice going. <laughs> your time has come. Hi, boss. Uh, what are you doing there? Uh... What's up? Barry? What the hell are you still doing here? Just a little delay. You know how that goes. <laughs> Have you no sense of theater? I can't do my entrance with you here. Entrance wrecker? If it's any consolation, I'm very scared. I spoke not to you, human. Yes, sir. <clears throat> uh, Chief. What? We have a problem. You know I don't like problems, Barry. What's wrong? In a nutshell, we have a GG90 here. He's not Rose Cog. GG90? That's a pain in the ass. What? Hey, wait a minute. You have a code name for this? I thought you said this never happens. Well, it does and it doesn't. Meaning? It does. Anyway, Spike, this is Alan Carroll. Alan, Spike Goldstein. Hey! Uh, yeah, but you're both... Hey, Ixnay on the OSJ. Uh, he's the nice young man who is pretending to be Zeb tonight and is going to help us complete our task. Translation, you screwed up and he's bailing us out. <laughs> he's a card. Exactly. I mean, you know me better than I know myself. A bit of a Napoleon complex. Agree with everything he says. In any case, it's good to know you. And by the way, thanks for coming along. It's going to look great on your record. Believe me, this kind of thing gets... Barry, yeah? don't beat it. Absolutely. Uh, rem remote's on the bed, like everyone else. <laughs> Something wrong? No. 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 Well, it's just, you know, your death, and I wasn't expecting you to be so sh... Uh, go ahead, say it. Short? Shrimpy? You know what would be funny right now? It's a Tiny Tim joke. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. <laughs> That's me. I do that. So, uh, you're the ghost of Christmas future, huh? How do you see into the future anyway? X-ray specs. I know. X-ray specs. Can you believe it? They really, really work. Really? No, you idiot. Are you ready for the ride that should not be taken? I think I've been on that ride all night. <laughs> That's funny. I like you. Don't be such a pansy. Wow, I haven't seen this many people at Rose Cogs in ever. What's happening? It's Christmas Eve day next year. Rose Cogs estate sale. He dies? That soon? A dead guy garage sale. <laughs> They're here to buy everything he ever worked for his whole life. <sighs> Vultures. <laughs> My favorite bird. Hey, hey, hey. hey, there's me. There's Annie. Slow down, Carl Lewis. The snow is hip deep. Everything has to go. Just uh, make an offer. Okay, thanks. Wow. Who's Cog's daughter? This gotta be the first time she's been here in years. So sad. <laughs> I know. Delicious, ain't it? Come on. We got more fun and depressing things to see at the auction out back. Like more stuff in here. Wait, I want to watch my future self. Hey, these are nice. Mm. Hey, I know that box. Seb Rosecock, these are beautiful. Why didn't you finish this? What puzzle are you making here? Ugh. Rosecock's old card ideas. Might have been cool when I was back in the greeting card business. Wait. I don't make greeting cards anymore? We must have lost that account. What's my job now? What do I do? Chin up, Alan. Your fortune cookies are the funniest in the business. Nah. I write fortune cookies now? Only because you lost your job writing directions on shampoo bottles. Are you serious? I'm not, Bonehead. Still, they're nice night tables. Carrie would have loved them. 
Helen. Mm -hmm. It's been a year since Carrie broke up with you. Mm -hmm. You've got to get over her. Carrie broke up with me? Don't tell me she's dating Steiner. <laughs> what am I, your therapist? When does it happen? Let's see. If I'm the ghost of Christmas future, it would be after now, wouldn't it? Smart ass. <laughs> I know. I don't enjoy that. That's funny. I do. Oh, another hospital. This should be merry. Very merry. Is she here? Is who here, Mr. Rosecock? Patricia, my daughter. No, I I'm sorry. Well, you did call her for me, didn't you? Yes, but... You know what? I really did think she would come here. I thought she would come here. But I guess she didn't. It doesn't matter. I, I actually prefer it this way. He's lying. Damn it, where is she? What's wrong with her? What? Suddenly you care about this old nasty creature? The party's over. Mr. Rosecock? Mr. Rosecock. Damn it, this isn't fair. Here I go again. Isn't death a beautiful thing? Can we fix this? No, his voyage is over, and so is yours. not all you'll get in our holiday DVD spectacular. You'll also get classic footage from these holidays. Valentine's Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, even Kwanzaa. Call now. Operators standing by. Hello, you that boy. What day is today? Today? Well, it's Christmas Day, of course. Christmas Day. I haven't missed it. My spirits did it all in one night. What day is it? What? It's only like Christmas Day, you loser. Oh, thank God! Oh, that ghost did it all in one night. This is wonderful. Hey, I got a second chance. I'm going to change my life. Loser. Wait a minute. It wasn't for me. It was for him. Mr. Rosecog, it's Alan Carroll, your neighbor. I've got something important to talk to you about. It's something really, really important. Is my house on fire? Uh, no. Then go to hell. <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to keep you from heading there. Listen, if it weren't important, I, I wouldn't be bothering you on Christmas morning. Christmas morning? I don't care if it's the Archduke Ferdinand's birthday. If this is not really important, I am going to get the hose. Mr. Rosecock, three ghosts visited me last night. They gave me a message, okay? A message intended for you. Ghosts? Well, why didn't they just bring it to me then? Well, uh, they got the wrong address. These spirits, they showed me your future and your past. Your soul, Zeb, is in danger. Listen, I know you're a really good person, okay? And I don't want to see you end up alone, so, so... Come on over to my house and we'll, we'll share Christmas Day together. Huh? How's that sound? Good, right? Okay. Well, you go get dressed and I'll start basting the turkey. Okay. Silent night, holy night, all is come.
Mr. Rosecock. What? 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 Listen, what? look, this is the hell? only way that I can think of to get you to believe me. Is that you? Carol? And you have it's to. Like hell. Oh, how do I work There's this thing? Whoops, too far back. Yes, Carol, hand me a towel. I'm gonna haul your ass off to jail and close the bathroom <sighs> door. This draft oh. is gonna kill me. Yo. Ah, 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 I got it. We gotta lay off the myrrh. <laughs> was the only way to convince Rosecock to change before it was too late. The wise men? Why didn't you just drop them in the Coliseum with the lions? And besides, it's not your business. Well, once I saw it, it became my business. I'm now I'm the only one who can help them. And you know what? You can't stop me. No, what are you doing? Are you hey. crazy? Hey. Give it back. This is completely no, right behind me, Jeremy. I'm not a fighter. Get off. No, no, no. You are violating rule number 534, subsection B, rule number Go. Go. Oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Alan did it. I didn't. Yeah, it's your fault. You left it here. Shut up. You shut up. You shut up. Hey. You shut up. You shut up. Everyone, shut the hell up. <sighs> Barry. On it, Chief. Okay, we gotta get back to the office immediately. There's gonna be a ton of paperwork to fill out since someone with a full head of hair dropped the remote. Wait. You know, it's gonna be a lot easier to convince Rose Cog if you guys help me. Uh... And you owe it to me. You know, you wasted my whole Christmas Eve. And, you know, I could take the blame for the broken remote. If you help me. How are we gonna get Rose Cog to change with no magic remote? I don't know. How'd you used to do it? If you hadn't busted the remote, we could go back and look. Here's a good idea for you, Jody. Zip it. My friends, we're about to go old school. Huh. All right. Now what? I'm here to help you, Mr. Rosecog. Get out! I'm afraid that I can't do that. Zeb Rosecog! Zeb Rosecog! Ooh! Zeb Rosecog! Ooh! Are you kidding? Ah, such a hack. Hey, Zeb, you want to get ahead? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was neither scary nor smart, just idiotic and painful. <laughs> So scare him, he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? You wore a sheet? That's so lame. Excuse me, but all the greats wore sheets, okay? Casper, Scooby-Doo, the Headless Horseman. The Headless Horseman wore a cape, you idiot. That wouldn't even scare my grandma. Your grandmother could use a sheet. Shut up. You shut up. You shut up. Shut up. Shut up, all four of you. Would you please? Shut up! Oh, Christmas can be so sad holiday. Oh, that's good. That's good. Up a little higher. Come more inches. Come on, zip me up. Oh, oh, I'm almost there. I, I, I feels me. Oh, oh, thank you, Spike. Dios mio. Mr. Carroll? Yeah.
just reading a magazine on helium. Your friend's gonna be fine. I luckily, it wasn't a real heart attack, it was just palpitations. Thank God. Was he doing anything unusual or strenuous when it occurred? No, no. no I don't think so. Just some napping, some crocheting, some gargling, maybe? Well, he's free to go home as soon as he likes. Just try to keep the Christmas excitement down for the time being, okay? Yeah. Ah, look, guys, I'm gonna go it alone from here on. Excuse me, you were gonna save Rose Cog's soul without Christmas ghosts? I don't think so. That's right. No, it's not right. Because there's no respect for the process. Guys, I don't know. I'll just improvise. No offense, you were great. We be... I gotta go. Don't do that. No, because it's a hospital. What's that? That, that's me. I do that. song that was playing the day your wife passed away. The day you lost your joy. How? You couldn't possibly know that. You know, the hospital's still looking for the guy that broke the radio. I was there, Zeb. <laughs> and I know that the last time you heard that song, you were holding someone that you loved deeply. That's true. <laughs> She's gone. Yeah, but you're not. Look, <laughs> I've only just been awful to you. Why are you... Uh... Because even though you and I are very different, somehow we both wound up on the same destructive path. And it's time we got off it. Well, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. I, it's too late. No. That's the beauty of it. It's not. <laughs> Come on. We both got a lot of work to do. <laughs> hey, you go on inside. I got something I gotta take care of out here. Of course. Uh, have fun. <laughs> hey, Tim. Do I know you? Yeah, you knocked me on my butt yesterday with your sled. Oh, yeah. You're a grouch. Yeah, I'm the grouch. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here because you were right. I did see it wasn't you with the snowball. Yeah, I got busted for that big time. Well, I came here to apologize for not saying anything. Well, thanks, but it doesn't do me much good. Dad already took back the only present I really wanted. Very sorry about that. <sighs> thanks again, Mr. Rosecock. Happy to do it? Think nothing of it. We don't know what to say. I mean, dropping the lawsuit was wonderful, but the check. <laughs> well. Maybe you'll spend part of it on a snowblower. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Williams, I'm Alan Carroll, Zeb's neighbor. Oh, Merry Christmas. I just apologize to Tim here for not stepping up and saying that he didn't hit Santa with a snowball. Oh, my. Oh, Timmy, sweetheart, come here. I'm so sorry. I was having a bad day, part of my Have a Bad Decade program. I'm changing that. I hope you'll forgive me. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry for not believing you, buddy. That's okay, Dad. There was uh, one more gift that I forgot to give you. <gasps> the bonds card. I don't believe it. Thanks, Dad. I can't tell you how much this means to us. Bless you both, and Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! By the way, that was me that threw that snowball that broke the window. From your front yard? Yeah. Nice arm. Thanks. Where to next? 
Well, I wouldn't exactly say my father is the nastiest man alive. <laughs> Excuse me. Oops. Christmas, you can count on me. Let's have snow and mistletoe <laughs> and presents under the tree. Christmas Eve will find me where the Love light gleams. I'll be home for Christmas if only it might be. I love you. I'm so sorry. I love you. Oh, Daddy, I miss you. Oh, oh, come inside. There's someone I want you to meet. She's going to be so excited. Alicia, this is your grandfather. Daddy, this is Alicia, your granddaughter. Well, I bet you've heard a lot of really nasty things about your grandpa Zeb, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Can I tell you something? They are all true. <laughs> <laughs> But I would like a chance to change that, if you'd let me. Of course, Grandpa. I've been waiting for you. Do you know something? I didn't have any time to buy you a present. Don't worry. You're the best present I ever got. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't beat that. <laughs> Patricia, I'd like to introduce you to my dear friend, Alan. He's, um... He's a heart specialist. Well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I have to go take care of something. So, Merry Christmas to all. Will I see you at the concert tonight? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Good luck, Pat. misplaced it. Can I still go in? No. Look, it's really important. I swear. Seat 17, front row. My girlfriend, she's playing her big solo. No ticket, no entry. Merry Christmas. Please. I really need to get hey, in there. Hey, what you need isn't my problem. You cause any more trouble and... Happy to see you guys. Like we were gonna let you have all the fun. <laughs> fun. They can all see us. I didn't like being visible when I was alive. How am I gonna get on the stage? Oh, we're no closer than when we were, you know, outside. This is. <laughs> Look, this is funny. I... Oh, not this. 
What's this? Oh, no. No way. Oh, yes. Never. Why? Absolutely not. I won't do that. Forget it. Look, if you've got a better idea, we're waiting to hear... Hold on, ladies. Let me handle it. Good day. I couldn't help admiring your caribou costume. Do you think I could try it on? It's a reindeer, sawed off Freddy Krueger. Scram. Okay, you saw it. I tried the polite route. Sawed off? Saw this off, Junior! Yes, you can have it! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays to everyone. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I, I won't do it. Our next piece is a spirit Christmas medley featuring our own solo cellist, the beautiful Jerry Ford. What a jerk. You said it, buddy. Give me that suit. Oh, boy. Seat 17, front row. Alan? What'd you expect? Oh, not you. I mean, you're in a... You're in a... Oh, my God. I love you. Oh. Alan, why are you doing this? You wouldn't draw me a map to your heart. So... I had to find my own way there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. It's hard to find a diamond ring on Christmas, you know, <laughs> unless you throw a brick through a jewelry store window. <laughs> so uh, this will have to do. <laughs> Carrie, I realize that joy is based on 
where you decide to put your heart. I misplaced mine. But I found it. And I'm giving it to you. Marry me. Of course, I'll marry you. I got this for you. What's that? Mr. Ricciardi, surely you trust the man who just publicly displayed those emotions so eloquently to create your new line of cards? And it was very nice. But frankly, it would take a miracle for me to give you the account. I think I have that miracle. you know, ghost land. You mean where it's warmer? <laughs> Listen, we should have clocked out hours ago, but we wanted to say... Fourteen and a half hours ago. We're on triple overtime. Marley's gonna have a fit. Jody, it's Christmas. Shut the hell up. You know what? You're right. Whoa. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and Happy New Year. Yeah. Come here. Oh, oh. Listen, kid, I just wanted to say uh, it's been a pleasure haunting you. Thank you, Barry. You uh, helped me get my sense of humor back. I'm just sorry I never caught your act. No, you're not. Truth is, I think I'm better at this than that. <laughs> <laughs> say, uh, you got any mittens? <laughs> Jody. Yeah? You are the ghost of Christmas presents. Because you gave me the gift of your innocent, beautiful, silly, infectious joy. And I don't know how to thank you. Oh. Carrie is so lucky. I, that, that, that proposal you gave was the most romantic moment ever. Yeah. And there wasn't a dry seat in the house. Spike, you are one cool and dangerous dude. And aside from giving me a serious case of heartburn and incinerating my shirt, thanks for the jump start. Step back, Richard Simmons. Don't get all sentimental with me. I'm deaf, and death don't hug. Uh, come on. <laughs> Good job, buddy. You know, I'm really gonna miss you. Thanks. Oh. My. Gosh. Such a... Is everything all right? You look like you just saw a ghost. You have no idea. One price was 